What's going on, Sauce Familia? S O S S support or stay silent. We are at a 1998 Ford Contour. Excuse the loud, stupid exhaust noise. Same thing with this bad baby here. Besides what the tow truck did, that they gotta pay for. Went on them to come back and get our baby together get her back the way that she was because i'm not liking this at all i'm really not it's getting on my nerves um it's making me be less humble than i was before this happened <laughs> but serpentine belt situation on this one of the other videos that you gotta go watch serpentine belt snaps because I believe my power steering pump, it stops, it seizes, and then causes the belt to snap. So, we're gonna do a power steering video, so keep tuned with our BMW 7 Series um, rebuild, basically. Um, stay tuned, keep watching. But, South Familiar, S-O-S-S supporter, stay silent. This is our repair for today. And this engine is a, I wanna say a 2.5 possibly. Um, VCT. Uh, yeah. Four cylinder, one, two, three, four. That's how, one, two, three, four. That's how you can tell looking for the ignition coils and see how many you have and then you can tell if your car is a four six or an eight cylinder and people are driving stupid out here but we have our new starter here and for you diys the do-it-yourself fans you can uh basically get the diagnostics of your car to know exactly what you need to stop the problems that you're having or the problem that you're having and then once when you get your part you look at your part see how it's designed and then you go into your engine and look for it or for others that's already doing this you come to my channel and, and look for it or you ask me i'm on facebook or something but when you do that or you just go on google and look up the diagram like just type it in like where do i find my starter for 2000 da -da 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 -da. you know just look it up on google then you go pop your hood come under here look around up and down in and through all around and see where you can see it the same one in which we are right there, as you can see. That there is your star. Right there. In and around, right there. And you can see right there, sort of, that there's a bolt there on the tip of my fingernail. And then there's another one right there on the tip of my finger now. It's two of those. So when you come back to look, so you guys can get more understanding. There's that one that we just saw. And then there's that hole for the bolt that we just saw. But then you have another one that's up under. Hmm. Which doing that will cause for us to see it down there. trying to get us to see it. It's down there at the bottom. You can see the little, the top one that we just saw, and then you can see the bottom one. The bottom ones. Right down there. I can't do that because, but it's right down there though. Like, literally. So, what we would need for those is, I believe those are 15, 16, 
millimeters. We have 14 to 16 millimeters, but we're about to find out. We are about to find out now, gang. And we'll try 14 first. But before that, let me make sure I put my glove on. Let me make sure I put my glove on. Yeah, I'm doing all the dirty work. Doing all the dirty work. Doing all that dirty work. Okay. So, as you can see where I'm going with the tool here. I'm going to move that hole so that you can see the bolt there. And. Surprisingly, it's not even a 14 to 16. So you know what we're looking at? A 13. And I may have to get a shorter 13 millimeter socket, like one this size, not that size. Just so we can. Hold on. Just so, bam. So we can insert it the right and proper way. Left it loosey, right it tidy. But as you can see there, bam. Let's put it up right there. Yeah, hold on, because I was about to say there's a hose down here that's not connected, but it is just on in a weird way. And there we are with that disconnected. That hose there. So we can do that there. You hear all those cracks? It's because they all got dirty. It's from the dirt. But we'll do that there. And no, that really, truly, the only other thing is you're getting us some room here. So, I mean. Let's go ahead and get us some room here. Take your little flathead screwdriver. Put it on top. Lefty Lucy. Right it tight. You can hear how that cracks. <coughs> Cracking from wear and tear. Give it a little twist and turn. See it come off. This got like, like, dang, this is ugly. But now that that's removed, there, we come back down here, take a little bit of boat. It's a little blurry. See it there. And what else we will do here is um, depending on where I see it. Possibly. Try our long one again, real quick. Let's try the long one. Let's try the long one one more time. Try the long one one more time. Mm. All right. Long 
I'm just making it too thick. Just place that back. And we'll grab our small extensioner. Put this on a 13 millimeter. If you can see, it's taking Small tedious things. So now let's take ourselves a little. for the other boat first because what I'm trying how I'm trying to show you guys from this one is removing silly little retarded things out of the way This one here. And I'm not understanding why. There we go. Second. Cause I have to break the bolts loose. Just like that. Break that one loose. Top windows. I wish I could have you guys propped up to watch me do this. I'm gonna try it here.
wonder if that works. Kind of. Works kind of, the phone might fall. But I cracked those bolts loose. So now I have them removed. And then for the bottom bolt, thinking I may just have to, um, nope. I won't have to get to it from down there. Thought I might have to go under the car for the third bolt. But no, I don't. The boat that we were first getting to is about to come out. As long as y'all can hear that. Uh, can you? Click, click, click. As long as y'all can hear that click, click, click. Yeah, you know, we're making progress. Until we can stop click, click, clicking. And then we know that we're still incomplete. But after we're done clicking, clicking. You can see. And now, you see where I have the boat coming out of now. So, bam, bam, bam. Just her right on now. Just her right on out. 13 millimeter. And then you have this cable here connected onto it as well. So that'll you gotta make sure you, when you're changing out the starter and putting in the new one that you insert this bolt through through this piece first when you're tightening it in. You have to do that. And so This one's here is a lot better, a lot better visual. I told you once when you 
Stop hearing that click click. And guess what? It'll be good and in the clear. Twenty minutes just to do two boats. Should do a lot of content so I can see how long it's actually taking and then I can let you guys know how long it should actually take for your vehicle really unless your vehicle is damaged to where we're moving things to get it out of your way just to get to the starter isn't as good as you think or as it should be And this right here is already turning. Okay. So, for some reason, I'm thinking that this boat is already loose. Yeah, this boat's already loose. Wow, really? Wow. I don't like that. It's already loose. I do not like that. So there's our three. So this one came from this here. This one came from this part here, which as you can see, they are pretty different. This one came from this one here. I got the zip tie stuff in here. All right. This here at the moment. And then, as we just saw, this one came from the bottom. And so we don't want to mix those up. If they all were the same size, then it wouldn't really matter too much. But since they aren't, then we have to get rid of it. And then now, as you see, that those are off. And now, what we will do here is we will put our hand on the starter and we will get it to move. Loosen it up, push it out. Push it out. One second. Two hands need it. Almost. So I'm just gonna keep tilting it up. Keep tilting it up and push out at the same time.
excuse my little sniffles. Might have to go under just so I can move it. Maybe, maybe not. You just have to keep tilting it up and wiggle it. Keep tilting and wiggle it. I'm just trying to see about getting it down, which I believe we would have to get it down through the bottom. So 
as you tilt, as you tilt it up, you push it the bottom forward. Then you have a little boat that's under there that's on it too as well, which should be another 13 millimeter. Another 13 millimeter bolt. Yeah. Okay. 